Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Mize of Money G. Yes, time to do my first review for the new year, and it's going to be Escape Room. Yes. <laughs> now, Escape Room is a 28, 2019 <laughs> psychological horror film. It was uh, directed by Adam Robitel. Uh He actually directed a few movies. He actually directed The Taking of Deborah Logan. Uh, he also did Insidious, The Last Key. He also actually wrote one of the um, Paranormal Activity films. This film was written by, uh, let's see, Bragi Schultz and Maria Melnick. It was written by those two. We had It stars uh, Taylor Russell, uh, Logan Miller, uh, Deborah Ann Wall, Tyler LeBlanc, Jay Ellis, and Nick Domini. Now, I'm pretty sure you've seen the trailers of this film. I actually did a trailer reaction film. It's an interesting premise. It kind of reminds me of the movie Cube. And uh, yeah, that's what that movie <laughs> reminds me of. But let's get on with it. Let's review the first movie in 2019, Escape Room. Yes. Now, the premise of this film is pretty interesting. We have six adventurous strangers travel to a mysterious building to experience an escape room. It's uh, some type of a game where you have to figure out the clues and escape the room before uh, <laughs> before your time runs out. And uh, most of the time, you actually win some money. You win a million dollars. But unfortunately, in this particular instance, if you don't escape the room, you or most of the people could die. <laughs> and that's basically what the premise of this film is about. Now, when you look at this film, uh, it's like I'm pretty sure I have, you just see a, a whole bunch of other films this borrows off of. Uh, like I said, you can see it someone like Saw, uh, something like Cube, or the, um, uh, I think uh, someone said, uh, just reminded them of the Belko experiences, because you have similar premises in those particular films, and this one has no particular, this has the same similar premise as well. Now, because of that, this really doesn't bring anything new or nothing great to the horror, horror genre at all. However, uh, I'm here to say that despite the similar plot and uh, I guess you can saw it, well, what we've seen before, this film does a pretty good job in uh, entertaining and bringing attention to this film. So I actually enjoyed watching it. Now, the setup is typical. We've seen this setup before. Uh, basically, we get introduced to at least three of the characters. We have the uh, shy uh, physics uh, student, Zoe, <laughs> uh, who's just so shy. We have the aggressive young uh, stockbroker, Jason. And we have a stock boy named, um, let's see, Ben. Uh, they all get these mysterious boxes delivered by their special someone and invite them to this building called the Minus Escape Rooms. Now, after meeting three other players, we have uh, the war veteran Amanda, we have a uh, coal miner Mike, and an uh, escape room enthusiast named Danny. <laughs> now, uh, it doesn't take them long. They're already in the run of the rooms, but it do does take them while to figure out that, hey, wait a minute, the game's already started. We're actually in the escape room. So they have to gather their wits to escape the room before they all, or someone, could die. <laughs> Now, we also have uh, the typical, stereotypical, cliche characters. We have the nice, quiet, and shy Zoe. Uh, we have the drunk and dim-witted, uh, uh, I guess he's not clown, but if you wanted to call him the stoner boy, uh, Ben, he's a stock boy. We have the aggressive and uh, very off for himself, Jason. Those are the, you know, you could say, you know, those are the three me characters uh, of the story. We also have game enthusiast da Danny. He uh, he's so hyped about the game, but really doesn't understand that this is real. <laughs> and we have war veteran Amanda, and we have uh, Mike as well. Now, unfortunately, while the story doesn't do that much to make us care about these characters, it's the room themselves that uh, drives the story. And I'm also glad to say that these characters also allow them to uh, drive the story as well. No, as I said before, what really drives this film is the rooms themselves. I mean, they're fantastic. Uh, I just simply love the setup of each of the rooms because once uh, the once we once the characters get into that first room and they realize that oh shit, we're actually in a room, it allows the characters to react and bond together and figure out what they need to do in order to escape it. Now, as the players make their choices, if they make a wrong choice, the room reacts creating more tension in the room and also putting the players in danger and that really drives the film 
uh, when they make their choices. Now, throughout the film, what the rooms do, and uh, it also brings certain aspects of the characters' lives. There's something about these characters and why they're all in here. And the rooms gives us hints, gives the audience hints, as we see in certain flashbacks, you know, what, what, why, why, the, why these characters are all put together. And the room takes advantage of that. And some people, are, they start to hesitate as we see their reaction. Now, as I stated before, now, despite the fact that what the rooms do is they allow these people to uh, band together and, and uh, try to combine their uh, skill levels to escape the rooms, the acting is okay at best. There's really nothing home to write out about. I thought, um, you know, Taylor Russell did okay as Zoe. Uh, no, the shy Zoe. Uh, she seems to be the only likable character out of this film outside of Mike and Amanda. Uh, of course, um... Once we learned about Jay and his secret, you know, we we actually disliked him, but we kind of figured that out. They're figuring that he's probably not being the best character for us to like. But unfortunately, it's for the other characters like Danny and Amanda and Mike. You know, the, the film doesn't really do anything to make us care about them. And, and as much as I love uh, Deborah Ann Wall from the uh, True Blood fame, um, you know, the film doesn't do anything to make us care about the character at all. That's one of the flaws of this film. So, but as I stated before, this is a nice, enjoyable film. Like I said, it's the rooms that really drive this film. I also did not like the last act of the film. Uh, they tried to give some type of uh, expo uh, little exposition at the end as the reason why this supposed company is doing this. Something about society is becoming soft and now people want to spend all this money. Kind of a cop out. Kind of reminded me a little bit about Hostel and the reason why they do some of the stuff of those things. Really, nothing fine, and especially the last part of the film. You know, I guess they thought, "Hey, let's set up a sequel." <laughs> said, oh, please! Why you gotta go there? Why can't you just end the film and not throw that in there? So, despite the predictable plot and some of the cliche characters, it's still a nice, enjoyable film for you to uh, to go see. I do highly recommend it. Uh, uh, you see worse than this, uh, than this, but it's it's passable. It's not bad. You know, it's okay. So the horror mice is going to open up his vault, and I'm going to give Escape Room two and a half out of my five gold coins. Yes, Escape Room will get two and a half out of my five gold coins. That, like I said, it's a passable uh, uh, horror film. Normally you don't see these type of films in January because January is sort of like the dump ground of horror films. <laughs> so my horror fans, what did you think about Escape Room? Did you enjoy it despite the cliche plot line and the characters? Or do you think this story just fell flat and we got another one of these dumb uh, movies? Uh, leave your comments down in your comment section below and tell me what you thought about Escape Room. Well, that's my video for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up because it does help the channel a lot. And once again, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the Horror Miser Money G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G. And always remember... Horror rules. <laughs> Let's take us out. We're out.